Yes, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you about a function which will return all the relevant rows uh, within Excel, right? Now, what I'm talking about is, let's say, for example, I have a customer name, which is Filipina over, okay? So let's filter on Filipina over. And when we look at the subcategories that have been purchased by this particular customer, there are three, subcategories labels storage and binders right now if you want to get all these three subcategories using a formula it is it was quite difficult earlier right because if even if you do vlookup or xlookup or even index for that matter you will only get the first row or the second row based if you are using an index formula right there was no formula earlier which would bring in all the subcategories for that particular customer. Now, I'm going to teach you uh, the new function which is available within Excel. Now, please keep in mind that this function will work only with Office 365. So let's get started. I'm going to start with typing in is equals to. Now, this function here within Excel is called filter, right? So in this particular filter uh, function, you will have to start with uh, typing in the table name. So basically, you need to have a table here defined, right? So my table here is defined as table one. So I'm going to select table one. Okay. Uh, table one, I'm going to open uh, the bracket over here. This is square bracket. Okay. And then I'm going to type in, uh, uh, I need subcategory. So I'm going to type in subcategory. I'm going to close the bracket over here. Okay. Comma. And then uh, I'm going to type in the lookup field over here which is my customer name so table one open bracket customer name okay close the bracket and say is equals to the customer name that we have entered over here okay i'm going to close the bracket and press enter let's see what happens so the moment you press enter you will see all the three subcategories for this particular customer let's change the customer name and see what happens right so when you change the customer name you will see all the categories that this particular customer has purchased. Let's check with another customer over here. So you will see that Anthony Jacobs has purchased labels and furnishings, right? Now, let's say if you want multiple columns added into this particular uh, uh, function, right? How do you do that? Let's say you want customer name also along with the, uh, you know, uh, the subcategory that you are uh, getting over here. So in that case, uh, Let's say you want to add customer name as well as category, right? So in that case, I'm just going to tweak the formula over here. I'm going to type in a colon over here and then type in table one. Okay. Now I'm going to open the bracket and type in a customer name. Okay. And then I'm going to close the uh, bracket over here and press enter. The moment you do that, what will happen is basically, uh, you will get all the columns from customer name to subcategory, right? So now I have my category and then I have my customer name as well, right? So this is how uh, you can choose what fields you want in this particular formula. Now, if you change the customer name over here, you will see that all these columns are changing as well. Now, this is a very important and very useful uh, function in Excel to use uh, in your data set and make your work much easier, right? I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.